Another day, another great value frozen meal. This is pasta primavera. Very fancy. Pasta and alfredo sauce topped with squash, zucchini, yellow and red peppers, spinach and peas. So we're getting into a lot of things here for a great value meal. I should mention that this was $1.88 along with a lot of other great value meals of this kind of shape and size. Um, 11 ounces actually, which is higher than the other great value meals. Interesting. Uh, here's the microwave instructions. We've got cut two inch lit and film, cook on high five to six minutes, use pot holders to remove, let stand for one minute. So this is an easy one. Just cut the slit and film, put it in there for five to six minutes. So I'm gonna put five and a half and then just let it sit for a little bit and then eat. So this one's a little bit more complicated. Of course, there's no like chicken or stuff like that. It's all vegetables, which might actually go to its favor. Um, as long as these vegetables don't turn into a soggy mess, which they might. So we'll find out. Let me show you what it looks like outside of the box before I microwave it. And then we'll give it a shot. You know, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by the way this looks. You get nice big pieces of zucchini. Let me get a little closer. You get nice big pieces of zucchini. I'm trying not to get it to reflect the light. And uh, other vegetables. There's a ton of Parmesan cheese on here, which wasn't even listed on the front, as far as I know. The only thing I'm worried about is peas, because I just don't like peas. But if they blend in, that's fine. If they're strong pea flavor, then, hey, if you like peas, you'll like it. So I'm going to pop this into the microwave for five to six minutes. All right, there's my Primavera straight out of the microwave. I noticed it has spinach in it, which it doesn't say on the front. It's very interesting what they're choosing to put on the front versus what is in it. Sometimes with a lot of these meals, they don't always put what everything is on the front for some reason. Because we look at the ingredients here, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Cooked pasta, egg, water, reduced fat, milk, cream, red, yellow, bell pepper, that was on there. Parmesan cheese, not on there. Uh, yellow squash on there, green zucchini on there, peas on there, spinach not on there, cornstarch, Romano cheese not on there, butter, sea salt spices, and roasted dehydrated garlic. So there's a couple things that aren't on, aren't on the front description that are pretty prevalent in here. There's a lot of spinach in this, so it's weird that they choose to leave that out, but whatever. I'm going to try to get a bite with some zucchini and some squash and pretty much everything except the pea, maybe. And then give it a shot. It's still pretty hot. Might have to blow on it a little bit. Three, two, one. All right, I'm actually greatly impressed with this great value meal. This is one that I think is worthy of praise, especially since it was $1.88. Great price, great meal, great vegetarian meal. I'm glad there's no chicken in here to ruin it. Um, the zucchini was actually still very, it had a crisp to it, which was surprising. Uh, it wasn't super soggy. That's what I was worried about with the zucchini, with microwave zucchini or reheated zucchini. It usually turns into mush. There was still a bite to it. Really nice. The squash, there's not very much of it. And that's one thing I can criticize is there's not very much squash. There's not very many green and red peppers in here. There's actually more spinach than anything, which is surprising because, again, it's not on the front of the box. There's zucchini, a lot of zucchini, a lot of spinach, only a little bit of the other things. But it's not a problem because I think that the overall Alfredo sauce that they put in here with the noodles is fine on its own. The accents of the vegetables are good. You do get some kind of vegetable with every bite. So I really don't have many complaints about this other than maybe the ratio of vegetables is a little low, but not, you know, I can't really complain too much when I'm talking about a great value meal I paid $1.88 for. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this pasta primavera from great value a five. I think it does deserve that. This is, it tastes really good. It's excellent. Um, again, if you're vegetarian, it's a good option for you. Not vegan, of course. Um, of course, the health benefits are also not, not good. It's not healthy. I don't want to go on that tirade because... It's still got a lot of saturated fat and more importantly, as with every frozen meal, a lot of sodium. So you're not really getting away with anything, but it, it, it feels healthy. So that's, that counts for something, I suppose. It feels healthier. But, you know, with any pasta, what do you, what do you expect? If you're getting pasta, you're, you're not on a diet, probably. So pasta primavera, great value, uh, five. I think it tastes great for $1.88. Of the new great value frozen meals, this one's one of the best ones. Check it out. See you next time.